So, this video will be a bit different from what I normally make on this channel, as it won't be so much a history video as an analysis video of sorts. Essentially, I'm going to explain the governments of different democratic nations across the world in a short amount of time, so it'll just be a very brief summarization of the respective nation's government. I plan on making more of these videos, but don't expect any sort of schedule as of yet. Today, I'm tackling Romania. Why? Well, because they're having an election today. What is this election about? Well, you'll just have to wait and find out. So here we go. Romania's government is a semi-presidential representative democratic republic, whose capital city is Bucharest. Within the country, all citizens above the age of 18 can vote freely. The government gets its power from the 1991 Constitution of Romania. It has both a president and a prime minister. The country's parliament is split into two chambers, there is the lower chamber of parliament, which is the chamber of deputies, currently consisting of 329 seats filled by deputies, and there is the senate, which currently consists of 136 seats filled by senators. The prime minister serves as the head of government, and the president represents Romania internationally, along with signing off on some decrees and authorizing the laws passed by parliament. The president also serves as the Romanian head of state. On the justice side of things, there is the Constitutional Court of Romania, who is responsible for deciding whether or not laws passed by parliament are constitutional or not. There is also the High Court of Cassation and Justice, which acts as Romania's Supreme Court and is the final court one can appeal to. Okay, so moving on to the finer details of government. Since there are two branches of parliament, the prime minister cannot easily be chosen, and that role falls to the president, who nominates a member of parliament to become prime minister. Almost always, they will be a member of the majority party. Parliament then has to vote on the nomination, and if a majority of the deputies and senators vote in favor of the nominee, they become the prime minister. So now that we know what people do in government, let's find out how they're elected. The president is elected via straightforward popular vote. The president is elected for five year terms and can serve for a maximum of two terms or 10 years. Members of parliament are elected to four year terms via proportional representation. The election I previously mentioned, which is happening today, is to elect a new parliament. So if you are watching this and live in Romania, go out and vote. What are you waiting for? All right, now that I've explained all of that stuff, I'm going to move on to some local governments. Romania is split into 41 counties and the city of Bucharest. Each county elects a county council, which makes decisions on the county. Also, the national government appoints a prefect to represent each county, and the prefect acts as a representative between the county and the national government, so they don't have much direct power. There were still mayors and the city councils who governed the affairs of cities and municipalities. Now let's look at the current state of Romanian politics. The president is Klaus Iohannis, who is an independent candidate supported by the National Liberal Party. The prime minister is Ludovic Orban, who is a member of the National Liberal Party. Five major parties include the National Liberal Party, the Save Romania Union, the Social Democratic Party, the People's Movement Party, and the Democratic Alliance of Hungarians in Romania. Here is what the Chamber of Deputies looks like. And here is what the Senate looks like. Of course, this will all have changed by tomorrow, but for now, this is how it looks. Alright, wrapping things up. In 2016, Romania was given a 6.49 on the Democracy Index, a ranking used to rate democracies. This rating makes it a quote-unquote flawed democracy. Okay, there's more to learn about Romania's government, but that was a summary.